My name is Rachel James. I am a senior at West Virginia University and a 2009 graduate of Lewis County High School located in Weston, West Virginia. It's this little tiny town that you could drive by because it's about the length of a roadway. I'm actually about four miles out the road. My nearest neighbor is a mile away. To this day, I still don't have cell service. We have well water, dial-up internet. I grew up on a farm with my five younger brothers and my mother. So I understand what it's like to come from a rural area into an urban area that you really just weren't expecting. It was a shock to my system to come to WVU. My town had maybe 500 people and I lived a mile away from the town and all of a sudden I was sharing a dorm with 1,500 people. So hopefully I can help anyone with their years of adjusting to that. My fourth grade teacher realized that I was really good at math when I was younger and she, through her own pocket money, bought me a sixth grade math book. And she would give me homework assignments out of this book in addition to the regular homework that everybody else was getting. By the time I got to high school, I had a really negative opinion of science. I did not think that I was good in science. I didn't think that I belonged within science. So I came to WVU as a business teacher. That's how I figured out that I was going to get around the whole science thing. And my grandparents had always kind of pushed me towards law, so I started taking a lot of political science classes. And then one evening, my boyfriend, who was a mechanical engineering major, he had a presentation that he had to go to, begged me to come with him and spend some time with him, and I agreed. I ended up in the wrong location and sat through one of Dr. Martinelli's um, presentations <laughs> and absolutely fell in love with civil engineering. It just all of a sudden kind of clicked. I found my passion on two different school trips that I took in middle school and high school. When I was in the eighth grade, we went to Washington, D.C. I was a member of the band and we went to go and play on the steps of the reflection. <clears throat> and then I was flipping through pictures after I'd already found my major and I started seeing all these pictures of the little pedestrian sign that actually counts down the number of seconds that you have so you know how long you have across the road. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Coming from such a small town, it just amazed me how many people were packed in such a small area and all the thought and design that went into dealing with all of these people. So, but I remember waking up prematurely, we were driving through the Hilton Head area, and I was laying down on the bus floor, and I could see out the front window, and just staring at the fact that there was a 10 lane highway in front of me, and just trying to fathom why they would need 10 lanes when our interstate only needed four. And so I just had this passion for people and dealing with congestion, and I didn't know the route to go about getting to this career until I met Dr. Martinelli. So I just want to raise awareness of all the different aspects of engineering that you may not realize, or your students may not realize is 